everybody, it's Catherine. Welcome to my channel where we talk all things beauty and fragrance. Today we are doing a fragrance review on a Byredo scent, so if that sounds of interest to you, please stick around. I have done a number of Byredo reviews at this point. I will link one at the end of this video uh, to one of my favorite Byredo scents, and if you're interested, make sure to click on that link. So without further ado, let's get started. The review I'm doing today is actually kind of a special one, and in honor of Father's Day, I thought this would be a good time to make it. My father's name is Delos, and so when I saw the new Byredo scent, Delos Santos, I thought, oh my gosh, it's a fragrance named after my dad. After I read the story behind this one, it's still a beautiful connection between the fragrance and the meaning behind it. It just makes it a little nervous that uh, to associate it with my dad. So let me explain. As we know, perfume is a way to be remembered. I remember my mom wore Chanel when she was going out on a date. So whenever I smelled Chanel number no. five, I knew she was going out with my dad and I was gonna have a babysitter actually. It kind of makes me nervous now when I smell it. Walking along streets in the spring and you can smell the blossoms and I remember sitting on the porch with my mom and coloring on my coloring book. So there's a lot of wonderful memories that you can associate with smell. It goes both ways too. You know, you smell some colognes and you're like, oh, I didn't want to think of that person. Kind of goes with the course. But one of my favorite things to do is when I'm dating somebody, I like to sleep in the t-shirt of the guys I'm dating because it smells like them and then I feel like I'm with them even when I'm not. There's a lot of wonderful things that tie memories with scent, obviously. Also, many times we use scent in rituals or in ceremonies. They use scent like to sage a house is a way of cleansing the, the spirits and the negative energy out of a house, which I personally kind of think of as scent, but you know, there's a whole ritual involved with it, so we're not getting into all that. In essence, you use scent or fragrance to remember old memories and you also use center fragrance to create new ones. Perfume is also kind of a ritual. Many of my friends had a special wedding perfume that they wore and it's just a special one that they're gonna wear uh, and then forevermore they wear it on their special occasions as kind of a you know a symbolic gesture that they're wearing this fragrance to celebrate this um, special occasion. In some ways when you spray perfume on yourself you're celebrating a moment whether that be a moment that was in the past are a moment that you want to make for the future. And that sets the stage for De Los Santos by Byredo Fragrance. The creation of this fragrance was inspired by ceremonies such as Dia de los Muertos and All Saints Day, which are ceremonies that we have to make sure that we remember. The whole purpose of these ceremonies is to not only observe loss and give reverence to the hurt that we still carry, but in doing so, we're also honoring that person and that memory and the love we have for that person, whether they're with us or they've moved on. To quote Ben Gorham, who is Byredo's creative director and also founder, over the past year, I started to explore how different cultures approach the idea of loss in order to shift my personal perspective. I didn't want to move on or move forward because that implied forgetting. Instead, I wanted to create a way to celebrate my memories, to honor the beauty of life, and to translate into that scent. I completely agree. The, the term move on always kind of makes my heart drop. You know, when you're getting broken up with, they say, you know, I've chosen to move on or you lose a job and, you know, we're, we're, we're moving on. We're choosing to different paths. It's always kind of a negative uh, connotation with that saying. And so I really appreciate how he ties it to forgetting. And this is a way to celebrate in honor versus forgetting. So to get into the fragrance itself, De Los Santos by Byredo is considered a floral fragrance for both women and men. A new fragrance was launched in 2022. The top notes are sage and mirabelle, middle notes orris root and cistus and canis. Hope I said that right. Base notes musk, libanum, and ambroxan. De Los Santos is, I'm not sure actually if it's De Los or De Los because my dad's name is De Los, but I think you say it De Los. I got this sample from sensplit.com just to give them a shout out for that. I found it to be more on the masculine side. It's a very herbal scent. It actually spilled a little in the box that it came in. I left the box on my table in our living room just so that we could continue experiencing it. And that being said, that fragrance lasted. If it gives you any idea. It's a very herbal scent. Ironically, speaking of sage, it's does, you do smell the sage quite significantly in the beginning. There's a hint of a floral note, very woodsy, very herbal. As you wear it, it uh, to me, the dry down smells very similar to cedar wood, kind of that light woodsy 
scent. It really reminded me of, you know, when you walk through a forest and the smell of, you know, if, if it's damp and the wood has uh, absorbed this moisture. And so you smell a lot of this damp woodsy scent mixed with the soil, mixed with the leaves, mixed with the um, foliage. That's what I get from this fragrance. It's a dewy morning walk through a forest when the moisture is still on the foliage and the grass and the ground and the woods all around you. That being said, I do consider it more of a masculine scent just because of those woodsy herbal notes. Uh, I tend to think of more sweeter floral notes as feminine and then those woodsier heavier notes as more masculine, just me personally, it's my opinion. It's, it is a lighter scent. I think it would bode well for the work day, or I think it'd do well as a spring or summer fragrance because your body heat is going to enunciate the fragrances, which I think would really complement this scent. By Rado as a whole, I feel that fragrances tend to be more lighter scents. As I said, I think this would be a great day scent. I think it would be a great work day scent. It's a great spring and summer. It's not going to have a huge sillage, but as I said, I had the fragrance in a box on my living room table and could smell it fine on the sofa. So if that gives you any idea. In terms of duration, uh, I'd say about three to four hours maybe. To be honest, I haven't timed it, but by Rado Sense as a whole, I haven't lasted the longest on me personally. I think if I were to spray it on my clothing, just like how it's on the paper, um, the box is was like this. It's a little box that it comes encased in. So the scent got on the paper and it lasted. It lasted the whole week. I think if you were to spray it on your clothes, you're probably going to get a little bit more longevity. Again, this is De Los Santos by Bye Righto. I think a very amiable scent that wouldn't be offensive to anyone. So a very perfect on the daily type fragrance. Again, this is Catherine. If you like videos like this and you want to see more of them, please make sure to hit subscribe and like because it really helps me out with the YouTube algorithm. And again, here is my video for Bal de Freak. Love you all. Appreciate you all. See you soon. Bye-bye. All right, let's try this again. Maybe.